So here we are here with Missoula's Build Your Own Recycled Bike Group, and this is Bob Ruby. He's the coordinator for that group, and we're going to show you some recycled bikes. So Bob, can you show us, tell us about this bike here? Sure. This is the bike that made me want to build a four-wheeler for our family to replace the family car. And this was based on a bed frame. There's actually another one of these, the same bike, just pictures of it, of when it was built with nothing but bed frame. And so our neighbor here actually got me interested and excited about this idea of doing a four-wheeler. And out of stuff like bed frames. Everybody's got bed frames laying around their house. So I thought, well, this is great. I could recycle stuff and make a new, neat little bike. So this one's actually pretty complicated now because it's been added onto over the years. But uh, anyway, pretty straightforward design with the uh, bed frames. And then two, the only part that's like real bike stuff is the two front ends from two bikes and the trick there was get two bike frames that are the same size and um, I've got other instructions for the four-wheeler that I ended up building or the two different four-wheelers I ended up building based off of this bike design and, uh, and then you'll see that they're radically different than the way this looks but this is really nice real heavy-duty real sturdy and it's a really good bike for going to the store and things we've used it numerous times while I was building our other bikes and then over on the other side here we have my little girl <laughs> and a sidecar that I made for her because I wanted her to be able to ride with me. So I've got a recumbent, a long wheelbase recumbent. Long wheelbase is the kind with the tire in front of the pedals. So anyway, on my long wheelbase recumbent, you just can't find sidecars for these. So our neighbor, whose bike this is, his name is Dell, uh, he brought over a walker that somebody was going to throw out. So if you look carefully at the sidecar, you'll notice that that's a walker laying on its side. So you know the things with the tennis balls on the ends? We took the tennis balls off, of course. But uh, this is a walker that's been repurposed. And then it fastens onto the bike. It took me forever to figure out how to do this, but it fastens onto the bike with the front end from another bike. So come on up over this way and point down, and, and it'll look just like a regular front end for a bicycle. So you see that I've got a fork attached to my chain stay and the front end of a bike. It works perfect. My chain doesn't run into it. It's got plenty of room and it allows this to swivel. Whoops. So it'll let this thing swivel as much as I need to. And we've actually tested it out by going up on curbs and things. So there you have it. These are the kinds of things we build. These are the kinds of things that I do workshops to show people how to build. So if you come over to BYORB, build your own recumbent bike, or build your own recycled bike over at Free Cycles, you can do one of these kind of projects yourself. And you can find the website at recycledbike.webs.com. <laughs> and can you tell me what did you build the chair out of? Oh, that actually, well, we've got one of those little pillows you can get at Walmart or wherever. And then this, you'll notice it says McCullough. And uh, it used to be a uh, gas-powered trimmer, so it's already in the shape of a seat. It's got a back and a bottom, and that's where the motor and all that stuff used to mount for the trimmer. And the pad actually came from the other side of the seat. That's where it would rest against your back. So there you go. Everything on this has been completely repurposed. It's a used bike, a used walker. A used seat that nobody had any use for. It sat around the free cycles for a year and a half, and I finally found a use for it. And you're thinking of putting not just a shell, but also maybe a canopy on there? So. Yeah, another one of these fairings. There's another full-length fairing, which also somebody built themselves. It is not a store-bought kind of thing. I don't know how they did it or who did it, but if I get a hold of them, I will ask them to make more because they are incredibly handy, and the shape works perfect to go over top of this. So for winter, it's the end of summer right now, winter it's going to be perfect to have that thing right here it covers the whole area and then set it up to uh, either go over the top or have it uh, as a little windscreen and we so, will have a video of that when yeah, it's finished right absolutely all right thank you thank you all again Hope come visit there. the website it's at recycledbike.webs.com